tell me kind of how it went. I know I, I texted you on Friday mm -hmm. and you said you weren't feeling good. Yeah. So then when Saturday came, meet day, I had no idea if you were like going to compete, if you were sick, like what was going on. So I was, I was stressing. Yeah. So I, I, I basically I think I started getting sick on Friday. So I TC a session that morning. I had coached earlier in the week all super easy right like my coaching sessions couldn't have lined up nicer it was a long day but whatever uh tcing was waking up for the same way and i would be getting up for the next day and it was a bench only session so super chill but by the time i finished tcing i was like oh feeling great tried to go back to bed and just had like a migraine all day i was like in bed miserable just feeling terrible about 7 p.m that night it was just like oh i think i'm okay now <laughs> and just like came back to life and was fine and then, I, yeah, so I woke up Saturday and still felt great. And honestly, uh, throughout the day, even for a few days after I got back, it was like Tuesday, I think I finally got sick. But yeah, weighed in pretty heavy for me. Maybe one of my heaviest weigh-ins in the 120s. Other than that time, I think I weighed in just over to break Eric's <laughs> record. Uh, but yeah, felt good, weighed in heavy. I had eaten well throughout the week. Stress was low, I was chilling in my hotel room, like great conditions heading into the competition. Went through my usual warm up. Like, I don't know how much detail we're going into here, but um, by the time I got to my last warm up squat, it felt like it should, felt good. Everything went well, went out, uh, opened at, what did I open at, 280? Yeah, I went 280, 300, uh, 307 and a half, I think was what I, what I did. So I had it in my head that I was probably good for 312-ish on yeah. like ideal conditions. And I think I was probably there strength-wise. Um, we took a nice 20 kilo from the opener. Everything moved well in the opener, took the 20. I'd had a conversation with Mike about the importance of maybe being a bit aggressive on your seconds and took that mentality in. Took the 20. 300 moved well, like it should. The heaviest thing I had squatted in training was like 285. 285, 285 yeah. one day. Um, <laughs> that was like two weeks before the meet. Yeah. I think you sent it in a, in a so chat. I had hit 285 and I think I had done two singles at 280 and those were my heaviest squats yeah. in the block but I mean that's not far off so how did you Looking know back to worlds when I PR'd when I hit that 317 my heaviest squat was a 280 or 285 in training how did you know you were good for like 312 then or around there mm, I wish <laughs> I had some like really scientific <laughs> data driven answer because uh, 280 felt like it should but yeah. not amazing yeah. Like when I hit that 280 prior to Worlds, it felt amazing. Yeah. When I hit the 280 prior to this meet, I was like, that feels, feels like good. Mm -hmm. So, okay, good to amazing, five kilos variance on my top end. I, I, I don't know. I didn't really know how prepared I was going to be for this, right? Like it was such a short lead up of me being able to actually train, but the training was really good. Yeah. Like it was really good training. I felt incredible. I felt, you can see it on my squats, right? Like when was the last time you saw me actually like stand up like that in a squat in a meet? Yeah. I don't know, like 2015? Yeah. So I was healthy. Um, and I think that gave me a lot of confidence too. So yeah, ended with 307 on the squat. Felt good. And I think I probably would have had about 312 top end for the day. And so you had like no hip issues this day then? None. But you had knee issues? Like did you feel my, so your my knee? knee I didn't really feel until after. Oh, that's good. I could feel it maybe a little in the deadlift but no more than I had through training. Like it was right on par with being like, okay, like a one out of 10, yeah, yeah. more of a sensation than a pain. And you know, after hitting a 307 squat, I was like, all right, that's, that's pretty good. I, yeah. Cause I hadn't done heavy deadlifting and heavy squatting on the same day. That was also new yeah. uh, in terms of being an exposure. But bench also went well. Yeah, I told you, I said, if you don't bench 200, <laughs> I'm deleting the channel and quitting. So you did say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there was some, there was some shenanigans with my attempt selection and with my attempts, the way they were entered. So I'm just trying to make this quick. I'm not good at it, but I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> I hit a really, really good, like 185 or 190 about a week out from the meet and decided to change my opener from 187 to 190. Mm -hmm. When I had that conversation with Connor and Garrett who were handling me, we maybe decided to play some games with my opener and put my opener lower, but realistic, so that people would think maybe my bench isn't that good right now. Maybe that gives us some leeway in the squat. People aren't pushing as hard because they're looking at the projected subtotal. You know, maybe that, that creates some space or some room. 
So I put in 177 for my opener, 177.5. Now the scorecard comes up, everybody's openers are in it, we're in the back room, and my openers in says 117.5. So somebody had misread the card. I was yeah. I was thinking like, oh crap, did I like kind of mumble it in the weigh-in room, not really check it and <laughs> sign off on it? Like, oops. But also like, I don't know, I'm changing my opener anyways, but everybody knows that's fake now. Yeah. It eventually got changed to the 177. The score table caught their error. I don't know, I didn't talk to them, Connor, Garrett, my, nobody went and made it known. Yeah. But then my opener went up to what our actual fake opener was, which is 177. I actually took 177 in the back room. I was kind of like, Connor loaded it. We were sitting there and I was just like, kind of waiting for people to be like paying more attention to the scorecard than anything else. Snuck over and just like, okay, yep, like unload it, whatever. So we were actually trying to be pretty sneaky. This was devious tactics. Um, and then yeah, last minute changed the opener to 190, which was the planned opener. Yeah. And yeah, man, my bench is coming leaps and bounds. Like if. If anybody out there needs to, you know, you mentioned you want to make the push for the 315 bench now too. Stop squatting and deadlifting, <laughs> right? Take like four months off of all lower body work. And I, it's anecdotal and it's like kind of a joke, but it's kind of not. Because I know a lot of people who have like injured their lower bodies, not really been able to train it, and made a hell of progress on their bench during that period. So, I don't know. So what were your attempts? Uh, started with the 190 and then jumped straight to 202. Because yeah. we were like, I know 202 is going to be there. If it's a good day, I'm going to go, you know, 207, maybe 210. Yeah. If it's not a good day, I know I can still bench 202. Yeah. So we took the 202. We said, mm, like, if we want to hail Mary, it's five yeah. kilos. <laughs> if we want to take like a probably, it's two and a half. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's a, it's, a, it's a bench. We'll take two and a half. Like I can max out twice. <laughs> um, and yeah, got pretty close, but just it wasn't there that day. So. You know, in the in this grand scheme and in the the strategy of it, in my head that's pretty much perfect, because I know that I couldn't get 2.5 kilos more than the final weight that I got. So yeah. again, being aggressive on the second, I think was was part of that uh, yeah decision making. I think it paid off. Yeah, it was the two five was real close. It's pretty close. Yeah. yeah. And again, I don't know. Maybe if I had gone 197, I could have taken 205 or something like. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm happy with 202. That's a seven and a half kilo bench PR, you know? Yeah, and then deadlifts, I was sweating hard. Me too, dude. Clenched. I didn't open puckered. first, <laughs> and I didn't pull. I didn't pull the last deadlift in any of the three uh, attempts. That's completely foreign for me. Yeah. That's something I, I hated. I hated and being in that position. You we missed. even changed my opener to try to go up and jump so that we had that position. Cause normally like I'm in the driver's seat. Yeah. Normally that's, you know, I'm, I'm chilling in the deadlift. I'm trying to like set the pace. And that was not the case this year. Yeah. Unfortunately opened at, I think 332.5. Cause obviously by this point, uh, Carrie's wife turned to me at one point, Priya, and she was like, I don't trust you anymore. <sighs> and like, we were all joking around in the back room. Like it's, it's good, it's good stuff, but, um, because I had made that very devious attempt change. And everybody was kind of watching me, like waiting for me to take 330 and go up my opener to 350. <laughs> and I was like, no, I mean, this time I'm honest. Like, I, I'd tell you. Well, you missed 345 or- 347. Yeah, in training. Weeks out. Yeah. Right, right here. I yeah. got it to like, <laughs> just before lockout and just like got stuck. Yeah. Crumpled out of position, set it back down. and was like, oh shit. <laughs> so that was, that was playing in my head the whole time leading up to deadlifts. Like, until I hit, when I hit my opener, I was like, I think we're gonna have a good day. And then when I hit my second, I was like, oh, we're, like, I'm running through a wall, let's go. Like, <laughs> I was jacked up. Um, but I did not know that going in. Like, I had no idea where it would be on that day. Yeah. There was a lot, there were a lot of data points in training that pointed towards about 370. So there was a, a way better, like 342 or 345 I had pulled. Uh, I pulled a really smooth triple at 315, but it wasn't like consistent and super, like normally I'm used to looking at deadlift training and on graphs of E1RM, it's just smooth coasting. And I'm like, oh, I picked from the middle selection. <laughs> yeah, we're good. But this was like, <laughs> like all over the place. Yeah. So I had no idea what I was, what I was gonna be able to get. We did up my opener to 332, like I said, try to jump ahead, but then both Eric and Carrie up their openers as well. Yeah. So I was exactly where I started. <laughs> So open first on the deadlift. Um, 
jumped from 330 to 355 or 350. I should probably remember, but I don't. Um, and then, yeah, when I hit that 350 or 355, I was like, we are having a good day today. And yeah. I was like, like stomping around the back room. I was like, load whatever, whatever I need. I'll can pull it, like, let's go. And they had 370 on the board and I looked at it and I was like, yep. And then they brought it down and there was something in me that was just like, uh, like, I don't know. Like, I think I got 370, but I didn't say anything. Cause I was like, that's the smart call. Yeah. Cause like, if I think in this like jacked up, I'm going to run through a wall, I'm the shit kind of attitude mood. If that's what I'm thinking is 370, like 365 is probably the perfect attempt. Yeah. Um, so that's what we, that's what we ended up pump bumping down to, uh, was 365. And then I can't remember what happened. The Quebecois lifter jumped a position anyways. Uh, then Carrie went and Carrie's second. Uh, so Carrie and I were neck and neck mm -hmm. for anybody who maybe didn't watch the meet. We were neck and neck the whole meet going in. I knew full well, I was like, this guy's lifts are right where mine are. Like we are so evenly matched that this is going to be a thing. And I, I told, I told people and I, I told my brother and I was like, I might not win. Yeah. And I think he thought I was like joking. And I was like, no dude, like I'm, I'm dead serious. Like if I don't have a great day and Carrie does have a great day, like this could absolutely go the other way. Yeah. And so I went for my 365, Carrie loaded 372.5, I believe he needed to tie me in total and beat me on body weight. And he pulled it. Yeah. And I was in the back room, like, you know, before he went out, I was like, let's do this, man. Like, let's go. Cause I want to beat somebody on their best day. Not when they're like, well, you know, like, <laughs> I'd rather beat somebody where we all make our lifts. You know what I mean? So like, I'm not going to, I don't know. I was yeah. cheering him on. And he went out and he, he was slow. It was a limit lift. Yeah. We, it was like, you had time to be like, will he, won't he, will he, won't he? <laughs> yeah. uh, and he locked it out. It was a, it was a perfectly clean lift. And that's it. Finished second place. It's the first time in a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah. But you beat Eric. I did beat Eric. <laughs> I did beat Eric. Although I feel like those goalposts keep shifting every time we talk about our rivalry. I don't know. But yeah. Um, so I lost on body weight, which I think now gives me immunity to any fake 120 comments. Because if I can get tied and beat on body weight, I'm, I'm officially like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm still light, you know, I was 118, whatever, but yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's the meat. At this point, you know, I'm looking to, I put my name in for Worlds yesterday. I'm gonna do whatever I can. And, and by that, I basically mean applying and hoping that the process goes my way so or somebody else doesn't go. Do you know how that works? Like in a short, fast way of explaining I, I, I don't know it? fully, no. no. Because um, doesn't it go based on points? So like if people don't want to go, then it goes to the next person who wants to go who has the highest points? Or I believe that's it. Like yeah, that? yeah, that's my understanding is that that's, that's yeah. what it is. Uh, so Carrie is going to go in the yep. 120s. If I'm lucky and things line up for me, I can go as a second 120. Yep. Um, and I don't know, like to, to, to kind of like wrap it all up, it's, it's an interesting like being very happy and very sad at the same time. Like knowing that I came from having like a really, really bad prep prior to the really, really good prep, you know, like I had to drop out of Commonwealth. I couldn't squat or deadlift. You're was... on the couch. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, play that clip. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It was rough. Yeah. So coming back and having as good a day as I did, I'm like, I'm incredibly proud of. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, it's almost like annoying because I feel like with the progress you've had up to this point from now till worlds i feel like you could really like now have that kind of a total that you're looking for yeah yeah and that's the big thing for me right now is like i'm so i'm so hopeful and i'm so stoked about training because i can train like i can just go in and i can push and like my knees my knees a little a uh, little, little angry right now <laughs> but part of that was being sick part of that was like literally not moving for a week yeah you know i, I did some squats yesterday my knees like 20, 30% better already. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. When was the last time you saw me like slam a squat up? Like, <laughs> I'm stoked to do that. I'm stoked to lift. I'm stoked to be able to lift. I'm stoked to feel more 
uninhibited in training and just like put in the work, yeah. you know? Like I think I could squat 340. I don't think that's out of the question. It's just a, it's just a better so, redemption arc now. Yeah, it's a, long, it's a longer <laughs> one for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about lifting and, and, and doing more of it. Hopefully I can go to Worlds, if not, Commonwealth is in, uh, is in the Cayman Islands in August, so I don't know. Selena, you wanna go on a different vacation? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we're good. Yeah, I expected, I think, a lot worse. So like, I was pumped, I didn't care. <laughs> a lot worse in terms of my performance. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I, is he gonna pull even like 360? I don't know. Having so, like, seen everything that yeah. led up to it, yeah. Can yeah. he squat more than 280? Like, uh, I don't know. Who knows? I know you're gonna bench, like. <laughs> yeah, bench, bench was gonna be there either, right? but, for sure. Yeah, it was, it was cool to see, and it's just like different, because normally you pull last, so it was like. Mm -hmm. Interesting to yeah, see you in a different I position. That. I never want to be in that position. Again. But you, you made your last deadlift. So I did. Here. That was the other thing. I was like, oh, well, at least I made a last deadlift. Yeah. I missed the last deadlift a lot. So, yeah. Here's to more last deadlifts made. Yeah. yeah.